Hey, what is up, folks? It is your boy Papers here, the neighborhood player. All right, we are back with another episode of Hoop with Papers. All right, and today, today is pretty special. All right, today we're going to talk about the danger zones. All right, and what I mean by the danger zones are the areas on the basketball court that you want to try to avoid at all times. All right. So we're gonna break down some of these areas that if you're bringing the ball up to court, you wanna to try to avoid these areas at all times, all right? So there's a lot of things that's a little exogenous, but things that are in your control, okay? We're gonna talk about how to handle the rock when you bring it up to court, all right? So with no further ado, all right, folks, what's up? Your boy, Papers. We're about to break down some of the danger zones and the areas that you want to avoid when you're bringing the ball up the basketball court. All right? So, we're going to start down here on the baseline. Okay? We're going to take the ball out right here. Okay? So, where do you, first of all, I want you guys to answer this question. Where do you want to pass the ball into? Anybody know? That's right. You want to try to stay in the middle of the court, okay? Now, one of the, a couple of the danger zones are the corners, obviously, for obvious reasons. So you don't want to pass the ball here, and you do not want to pass the ball here. So we want to avoid the two corners for obvious reasons, all right? Um, obviously, if you step out of bounds, right, that's a turnover, okay? Step out of bounds this way is a turnover, okay? Every defense in the country knows that they want you to take the ball right here in the corner. They pass the ball to you in the corner, guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna trap you, okay? They're gonna set up a trap here. They're gonna set up a trap here, okay? You have nowhere to go, all right? So what we wanna pass the ball into, we wanna pass the ball right here at the elbow on the free throw line or this elbow on the free throw line, okay? Every defense know that if you get the ball up in the middle, it's gonna disrupt their defense, all right? So when you bring the ball up the court, okay, you can have two guards up front, okay, you're gonna pass the ball in here. You may have a, a guard stay back to help him bring the ball up the court, okay? So you're gonna stay middle, and you're gonna bring the ball up the court in that, in that middle lane, all right? If it's too much pressure, you can bring a big guy up here, center court, your best rebounder, throw the ball to him so you can advance the ball up the court, all right? When we, get, when we approach this half court line, there are zones in the half court line that we wanna stay out of, okay? First of all, it's gonna be the corner. So once you pass half court line, right, you can't go back court, okay? That's a violation. It's called back court, okay? Over and back. You can't go back court, okay? So you wanna stay out of these areas, right? So you wanna stay out of the corner areas. You wanna stay out of this area. You wanna stay out of this area. Okay, because once again, every defense in the country, they want you to go to these corners. They're gonna run a trap on you every time. I'm telling you, every time. So these are these are dangerous areas. Stay out of this area, stay out of this area. Okay, it's gonna be a turnover every time. All right, now you wanna keep the ball in the middle. As we advance up court, okay, as we advance up court to our half of the court, all right? When you're running your play, whatever play that you're running or, or, or whatever you got designed, whatever your coach draws up, once again, we want to stay out of these corner areas, okay? Because just like full court, advancing the ball up the court, guess what they're going to try to do? They're going to try to trap you every time, okay? There's a sideline here and there's a baseline here. These act, those act like extra guys for defense, okay? So you have nowhere to go on the baseline, you have nowhere to go on the sideline. So if we run a trap on you right here, where are you gonna go? Nowhere, okay? It's gonna be a turnover, it's gonna be a timeout, okay? So these are some of the danger zones that you wanna stay out of, all right? Um, with no further ado, those are the danger areas. Stay out of those areas, okay? Work on your team, work on yourself, stay out of those areas, okay? It is your boy, Papers. 
All right, thanks for tuning in. This is where we talk basketball. I'm talking real basketball. So if you want to learn basketball, you tune in and you watch papers. All right, check out the next episode. We're going to be talking about controlling the tempo. All right, let's go. Lifestyle, lifestyle, yeah, that's the lifestyle. Be your Fendi up in the game, but that's the lifestyle. Uh, return on the yield came back, that's the equity, check it, 100%.